Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial Game Maker Studio 2. Today in this video, I'll show you how to display scores in your own games. So, usually in arcade-like games, there's always a score counter somewhere to keep track of your score. So, and that's what we're going to implement in this game. So, it's actually quite, so the setup is actually quite simple. You're going to first uh, open up a blank project, or I guess I'm, I have a project right here for an example. So we're going to have a room right here, and then we're going to need two things. We're going to need an object that's going to print the score on the screen, and then we're going to need a font. So let's start off with the font because that's uh, very easy to make. So we uh, right-click on font, go to create. And then we create a font. So just got font number one. Usually, uh, depending on your um, resolution for your window, your font can look kind of small. So that's why I'm going to set my size to something like uh, 24. And um, after we make our font, um, we can go to objects and then make our object. So I'm just going to keep this as. Uh, Let's call this O score. Okay, so we're going to make a create event for our scoring object, and we're going to establish some essential variables. And right now, the only uh, variable we're going to establish is our score, so we're going to uh, call this score um, my score and just set it to some value, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to set it to zero. And then we're going to add another event. Uh, we're going to go to add event, go to draw and draw GUI because this is going to be a part of like the uh, HUD on the screen or HUD or whatever you guys pronounce it as. So before we actually uh, print the text, we have to um, set our font, which is uh, why we had to create this font earlier. So we're going to type in, all right, so I'm going to set up the font. So we're going to put in draw set font. And then in this argument, we're going to put the name of our font, which is just uh, right here in this example project. It's font one. And now we're going to draw our text on the screen. We're going to print it out. So we're going to print out the text. And this text is going to have our score. So for your score, you can display it in different ways. The way we're going to display it in this example project is we're going to have some text that says score, and then it will show the actual number right next to it. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to establish another variable. Let's call this my string. And we're going to have it be equal to the string that is score. And then we're going to have this string um, be added to the string version of my score. The reason why we're doing this is because the value of your score is going to be saved as an integer. So to add it to this, I'm just going to add a colon and a, and a space. So to add it to this, we need to convert this to a string. So that's why we're doing this setup here. So after that, we're going to actually have the text be drawn. So we're going to type in draw text. And as you can see, it's asking us to put in three things. Uh, put in the X coordinate of the text, the Y coordinate, and then what the string is. We have our string right here. Did I even spell string right? 
Yeah, okay, I did. I'm just uh I'm just self conscious. Um, okay. So I'm just gonna put in pen zero and then my string. Now the X and Y coordinates can be different depending on what resolution or aspect ratio your game window is using. So you might not be able to get your score displayed the way you want the first time you um, run your project. So, but that's okay. You can always just alter it. So now that we have this set up, all we really need to do is to go to this room and then move this object right here into the room. Okay, so now that we did that, let's um test it out. Oh, as you can see, now we have a score counter right here, and it says zero. So, this is fine and all, but we need a way to increase our score, right? So, let's add something. For my example project, I want to make it so that every time you press the Z button, the score is going to increase. So let's do that. So let's add an event. Let's make it a step event. Because step events happen every 60 seconds. So. Let's make a new variable. Let's call this. Z pressed. And we'll have it be equal to. Keyboard check. Pressed ORD, and then we're just going to put capital Z right here. So basically, this is going to be like a Boolean kind of variable. It's going to be false if the Z key is not pressed, and it's going to be true if the Z key is pressed. So if Z pressed equals true then my score plus equals one so this means every time we press the z button this is going to return true and if this is true my score will get increased by one so let's check it out see it in action Pressing the Z button, and the score is increasing. And that's pretty much that's pretty much it. That's how you can create your own uh, score display in uh, Game Maker Studio 2 using the um, the draw GUI event and the draw text functions. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'm sorry if this isn't really professional. I'm still kind of new to making tutorials like these. Comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial or anything else. And uh, have a great day.